Kendrick Perkins has truly been shaped up. Yes. So essentially, he calls for how they vote for MVP in the NBA and the racial bias in X, Y, and Z in the voting process. JJ Reddick goes out there, says that's cap. That's not true. You know, you're lying. You're a liar. You know, all these different things. I know everybody's seen it. So I just, I, I think y'all did it. Did y'all do a video on it? Not that one directly. Yeah, not that one specifically, but the job thing and wait, not Ja. The um Yogish thing uh, probably a million times. Yeah, we talked about the Yogish thing and uh JJ Reddick. JJ like, starting to get smoke. Yeah, now. JJ yeah. getting hate. That's what I meant to say. Do y'all feel like there's racial bias? Or do you feel like there's any 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 merit into what Perk said? I personally don't know. Um, well, let me not again. Let me say I don't know what Perk said because I don't. I don't listen to Kendrick Perkins. He's a fucking idiot. Um, but I heard JJ Reddick's response, and I seen like a lot of the conversations had around it. My whole thing is when it comes to the MVP, I don't see any racial bias. I've seen a couple people saying there. He's right. There is like actual racial bias towards player, like black player voting for MVP, and I'm like, I don't understand how. If the case is. There's been an overwhelming majority of black winners for the MVP. Um, now, if they were talking about the voters, I've seen a lot of people bringing up how many black voters they are. I mean, I, I don't know if it's racial bias if even with a majority white voter, majority black players still win MVP. So I'm not seeing where the racial bias is. There is definitely more white voters than black voters. All right, cool. If that's the case, they said that was a lie, but okay, cool. But where's the racial bias historically? Yeah, uh, my my, I, I think it. That I won't say doesn't exist. I just think that um, it. There's no universes at the extent that he's saying it is. I've seen some people on Twitter argue that, yeah, bro, um, every European or non-black player that's got the award hasn't deserved it. That's an opinion. <laughs> like I, I, I don't know at that point. All right, and then that's also crazy as hell. If you think no non-black player has ever once deserved MVP, damn, nigga, you a cold bastard. So I, I feel like there there probably is. I'm not going to be the one person to say that there's no racial bias. Hell, I mean, it's a vote. You voting on who you think had the best season. There's It's literally bias, my nigga. But um, in terms of to the extent where we are committing a crime that needs awareness because someone else deserves it way more than you, no. No, this is just stupid. It, it, it's a straw man. I hope that's the right tactic. It's a straw man tactic because the bro bro ain't getting that damn award. It's going to Jokic. We all know it's going to Jokic, so niggas is trying. You know, so let me saying. let me play this before B Souls uh says anything. I, it, I mean, I, I pretty much agree with everyone. I, I didn't want to echo the same thing. But yeah. Okay. Well, let me let me play this, and I, I think we can get away with playing thirty seconds of ESPN. We can try. Fuck it. Why didn't he never bring up this in particular subject? When it comes down to guys winning MVP yeah, just hide it. in 1990, it's only three guys that won the MVP that wasn't top 10 in scoring. Do you know who those three guys were? Who were they? Steve Nash, Jokic, and uh, Dirk Nowinski. No. <laughs> what, do the, what do those guys have in common? They skin color. That's such a bad argument. That's a such bad a bad argument. argument. <laughs> I'm about to say, like, seriously, like, this is what I'm talking about. Seriously, because scoring, scoring dirt. has never. No, it's not. But you didn't. You, y'all, y'all. I know what y'all are probably thinking. I want to stop you before you even think about it. Okay. Steve Nash, Dirk Nowitzki, Jokic. Mm -hmm. They all played in the West. That's what they had in common. I know you were probably thinking race. It's not that. It was just they played in the West. Go ahead. I forgot what I was about to say. Oh, I was about to say. I, I was. I was about to say. Score one. Scoring has never been the only or even a majority determiner of of who the MVP is going to be. Um, and then it's such a cherry pick stat because he literally starts at 1990, when like the four years prior, Magic won it. Um, not being top 20 in scoring, uh, three out of those four years. So the fact that he cherry picks this award to specifically start at 1990 is crazy. I just, I, 
I don't understand where are we finding racial bias at, and because that's the big thing I was hearing. Racial, there's racial bias. Where's the racial bias? If majority of the people that have won since 1990 have have been black, like well, are you what, saying in racial bias against black players is what? Well, I what do what, what 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 do you? I, I'm, not, I'm guessing what he's saying though is that the bar is lower. Like mm-hmm. the the bar is lower when it comes to what like a white player needs to do. So right in two thousand and no, I was gonna say five, but in two thousand and two, a, a a white player may have not won or even got close. But that's because there might have not been one that was close enough to do it. But if there is a white player that is close, they'll get bumps because they are white. Is what he's trying to say. And I would believe that if there were facts to back that instead of just hearsay or he said, she said, and it's around it. Like, if you could tell me, oh, and <clears throat> if you could tell me every time um, a non-black player or non-African descent player um, won an MVP, there was no white player or Caucasian looking player, non-black player. There was none of them, like, performing for real that was even close. Okay, cool. But if you don't got that research, that's a bad argument, bro. You can easily just look and find if you could find a year where, and I'm just using an example, if you could find a year where Chris Mullins was an MVP candidate, then it's like, all right, Chris Mullins didn't win this year, but he could have easily got a boost, like y'all saying, and you could have added him to it. But he didn't get it. Why is that? Because he's Chris Mullins. He's not black. He's a white guy. Why didn't he get it? I understand Chris Mullins might not have got a chat. Please don't rip my head apart. I was using the example. But they're saying, they're saying that, you know, they get, they get more consideration, not necessarily that they want it. And damn, I wanted to bring up the one. I wanted to bring up this one from Bill Simmons. Cause fuck Bill Simmons. But <clears throat> um, I'm bring up Bill Simmons, and I'm gonna bring up something my brother said. Here's the thing about MVP: there's still 20 to 25 percent of the season left. All the seeds are in play, and a ton of shit can happen. And B could average. 38-40 for five weeks. Giannis could go on a 38-15-8 freak streak, et cetera, et cetera. Freak streak is crazy. It's wide open. We don't. We need to pass out some of the settle down juice. Now, some people brought up the fact that maybe a couple years ago, uh, maybe it was last year or the year before, the same a similar situation happened, and apparently Embiid was the like front runner in the MVP conversation. Mm-hmm. And then Embiid did nothing differently in the second half of the season. Um, but Jokic still won. I think in the first half of the season, they were always neck and neck. So even if Embiid was in favor, um, the first half of the season, it wasn't by a crazy margin. I would just have to see if, if Jokic – did Jokic have a crazy amount of improvement in the second half of the season that would have propelled him past Embiid is the question I would ask. I and if that quick, if the answer is no, then hey, I think racial bias, I guess. I think what was impressive about the Jokic thing last year was, oh shit, he's still winning games. All right, well there we go. Like he's still winning without MPJ and Murray. Like Souls just said on Souls and Sage, and like how I'm about to do whenever I go back and actually look at the shit. Everybody who wins the award, if you take it year by year, it it makes sense. It never doesn't make sense. And that's where I'm like, if we're going to go with the racial bias card on a platform like First Take, the same way we are literally talking about like Mr. Beast doing good shit and giving him criticism, we have to criticize. All right, bro, you know what you're doing when you say what you say on live television. So when you're going to say racial bias, that is implying that this dude has no shot of deserving the award. You want to talk about three-time MVPs, that's fine. But, like, for example, in 07, in 07, Dirk got it. He he didn't he wasn't top 10 in scoring. He averaged 25, basically, 9-4 and four on 50-40-90. Uh, that's an elite club in itself. The Mavericks won 67 games. That's an elite club itself. Um... Kobe averaged 31. He was third place. Steve Nash was second. So maybe 07 was racist as fuck. And in 07. um, But I think in 07, the Lakers missed the uh, playoffs. Yeah. Yeah. They were 42 and they were 42 and 40. Uh, I think they were still doing divisions or some shit if they missed the playoffs, but they were 42 and 40. Uh, Tim Duncan was fourth. He averaged 20 and 10. 
Um, he came in fourth under Kobe, so maybe I don't know. Racist towards. I, I don't even know how that. Well, works. Ultimately, so, if, if you look historically, it, yeah, I think it's just, just uh, it's just winning bias. Win, like winning and winning bias has more of a factor as to how and why the um the MVP voting has been the way that it is than it is about race, in my opinion. In the in the mid two thousands, when Dirk was leading those Mavs, when um Nash was leading those Suns, they they just happened to be two white players um that were at the top of the hardest conference, arguably of all time, leading those teams. Um, like it's it's the same reason people say LeBron got robbed in twenty eleven. It's because of winning bias. So, um, I do, I I join I, the Q and A, AB. Please join the Q and A. Please, yeah, you've been going crazy. Please. Yeah, I was. I I'll, I'll say this. I think that there's just there are inconsistencies and there are biases. There are biases. Even in the tweet that Bill Simmons just put out, he is leaning towards Jokic already. He's already leaning towards Jokic. In that tweet, he told us that. Um, the fact that Embiid has to do, he could do or has to do this, he could average 38 to 40 for five weeks, which is insane. Um, Giannis could go on a 30, what do you say, 38 something and something freak streak is insane. You already having your mind wrapped up that Jokic has this award pretty sealed. And in order for anybody to crack that conversation to you, they would have to do something absurd. I think we can we agree that averaging 38 to 40 for five weeks is crazy. Oh, that's not what I got from that. I uh, thought yeah, he was I, talking I to the, the capabilities of Embiid and Giannis, like actually that's what yeah. you got the from capabilities that? to. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I was that's interpreting it as they, they say that. They, I, I, I thought of it as, yo, don't, hey, I, I, I thought of it as, hey, like, don't don't just put out and just, you know, Giannis still has the ability to do this crazy thing. And Bede still has uh, the the time and the ability to do this crazy thing. Um, like, don't or just hell, say it's Jokic like Jokic can stink it the fuck up. But he didn't. But he didn't. But he didn't say that. But he didn't say that. Right? Characters. Was, Bill Simmons it. has two hundred and thirty thousand million right here with this blue check mark now. <laughs> he, doesn't, he, he doesn't. He doesn't have limited characters. Well, he has limited, but it's not. Here's the thing about MVP. There's still twenty to twenty five percent of the season left. All the seeds are in play, and a ton of shit can happen. Yeah. And B could average 38 to 40 for five weeks. Again, can we agree that that's a crazy thing to do? Yes, yeah, I think it's a classic yeah. case of hyperbole, but yeah. Uh, Giannis could go on a 38-15-8 freak streak. I don't know what freak streak means. not quantifiable. It's pretty wide open. He's not saying what Jokic could do, should do, whatever, because he believes already that Giannis is his go-ahead for MVP. I don't listen Jokic, to Bill. Yeah. Or Jokic, Jokic, I'm sorry. Is Jokic leading in the MVP ladder right now? Yeah. I don't know, but we're talking about. I, I don't. I don't care about the MVP ladder because I don't even think the person that makes the MVP ladder on NBA, NBA on the NBA dot com website has a vote. But I do know Bill Simmons has a vote. So what I'm saying is, based off of this statement here, by excluding Jokic, it lets me know you already have bias towards Jokic. I'm not even saying that that's a bad thing. It's just letting people know the mindset as to where you are. You've already got the is bias it- in. Is it biased towards Jokic or he just thinks he's leading at this moment? Yeah, and this right is what now, the other Jokic is winning, do. but because I think I think for for Embiid, he what? might be the the. What it's not. It's not the same thing. It's not. It's not the same thing. What, t- tell me what's the difference? Me, me thinking someone is just in the lead at something doesn't necessarily mean that I'm biased towards that person. In favor, pre- in prejudice in favor of or against one thing person or group he's in favor of Jokic winning the MVP bias and, and we're that that's semantics but it's the same thing it's the same thing. but it's still a race at the end of the day so if you feel someone's winning the race mid-race I don't think that's having a bias towards that person yeah, I'm about to say if I see them. y'all run for 400 meters and you're in the lead and they're in the behind and I'm in like favor. I'm just saying you never know what could happen Omar could trip and fall that's and not me like, being in favor like, of I'm, the person yeah. winning the race that's the part that's me uh, acknowledging uh, uh, this person's winning the race a race a race a race implies that there is like some measurable thing x y and z that makes you do it definably like if we did a foot race like somebody being physically faster that this is a vote. A vote is like your perception. Like you have your own feelings towards this and you put your vote towards. It. So the reason why I'm saying he has a bias is because he favors him because he has to put his feelings into a vote. Right? No. Does not he not? Right. You don't put your feelings into a vote? I don't think he's putting his feelings into this vote. Do, do you put feelings into a vote? 
Yeah, but depending not in a prejudiced way. Yeah. Depending you, on what the vote's for, yeah. What? What? I mean, maybe I'm getting cooked. I don't know, but <laughs> yeah, I, I maybe I'm getting cooked. <laughs> maybe I, I'm I, not I, cooked. I, I, when I, you I, thought, I thought the idea of prejudice was judging someone without having preconceived notions, and and these voters are making votes and decisions no, off no, of no, conceived no, notions. No, are they not? No, 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 I'm I'm talking about the idea of prejudice. Even if you take the word prejudice out of it, be so. Put that, take take the right. word take the it's it's not the only definition. Take the word prejudice out of it. You're in favor for uh you can show an inclination for somebody or what like you you favor this person. That that's that's what bias is. You favor this person category thing. Take out just take prejudice out of it. That makes it better for you definition wise. When you vote for something, you put your feelings into it. In this sense, this sense right here, when you go vote for president, there's no like super measurable way to do this. You still put your feelings into a vote, right? You don't you don't put your feelings into a vote for a president or for local government. Yes, but local government has stuff that they can do for you. Government something they can do for you, or there's something that you need to gain out of it. Voting for an MVP, you don't, you shouldn't put any. Feeling but, or they, but you know people do. But you know some people. people do. But I'm not about to say mm-hmm. Bill. Bill Simmons is one of those people based off that tweet. I don't think that tweet is him showing that he's one of those people. So I don't think that's a case of him showing that. I, him not including what Jokic could do shows to me that you already favor Jokic. You already feel like he's in head, which is not crazy to say. I'm not saying it's something crazy to say. Like we're truly no one, saying, no, no one is saying. No one is saying that the crazy thing is. I mean, yes, we all agree that he feels he's ahead. But I feel like the disagreement or the disconnect is we don't feel like that's him having a bias or showing favoritism towards Jokic. That's just that's if he's favorite. if he has a if he has a vote and he thinks somebody's in the lead, the niggas winning the race. He thinks the niggas running the race. I, I favor that's... you in this vote. You are the favorite for me. That's favoritism. It depends it's what we're biased. defining bias as, because bias does have another definition right under it. It's not that, bias. I don't that, know that's, that's literally a talking bias. about a bias. distortion of a statistical result due to a factor not allowed for it for in its de- uh, derivation. I don't fucking know. I'm not. I dropped out. Um, and, or you even have cause to feel or show inclination or prejudice for or against someone or something. So it really depends what we're defining bias as. I, I personally think even if he has a biased vote in terms of he favors Jokic at, at this moment right now, is it a racial bias? I think it's pretty nasty. 